Hello and welcome to Spiegel Eye, a psychological adventure game developed by Tao and translated by Yamikaze. It's available on itch.io and rpgmaker.net, I believe. And well, it's about a little girl who ends up in an orphanage. Uh, she finds a large mirror and that allows her to explore a different world. And I guess we'll see what that means when we play it. And uh, a little word of warning, um, this game does have, uh, does have some dark themes to it, such as death, suicide, and mental illness, so be forewarned. But anyway, let's just start. Who are you? Okay. Uh, interesting, you know, starting point. He just literally talks to the player. Uh, let's just push slider, I guess. I don't know if it matters. I'm Slider, not Slider Z. How do I? I just press Enter, I guess. Slider, is that really your name? Really? Well, it's my internet handle. I can't give you my real name. Yes, Slider. Now, Slider, don't talk. Your voice is being recorded. Uh, yes, it is. I I am recording this. <laughs> and don't turn around. You're being watched. Am I? <laughs> it's just a joke. Maybe. Uh -oh. She's a prankster. And this is the building where your room is located. The rest has already been explained to you by our director. If you have any questions, please ask any of the children here. I'm going to fetch one of them now. Please wait here for a moment. Okay. Just a maid. I assume, okay, we're this character. All right. Okay, I press the inventory button in every RPG Maker game. The, uh, this is technically not RPG Maker. I believe it's a Wolf RPG editor, which is kind of like RPG Maker, really, but, you know, slightly different. Hmm, items. We have no items. Just pictures. These are drawings, I guess. I see a flower is a lollipop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that is um, B. And there's also, like, card symbols and... Is this relevant? This looks like it might be relevant. I've heard that this is also a puzzle game. I, I don't think it said, you know, that it had puzzles on the store page. At least it didn't say its main genre is puzzles, but I don't know. But from what I've heard, you know, from my last minute research, really, of this game, is that actually the, the puzzles might be a little hard. So, and, you know, my, my history of puzzle games are not very good. So, well, I guess we'll see if I get really stuck. I believe there is a walkthrough, but that would be as a last resort. I don't know where I want to go. I mean, well, this is a big, large mirror. So, look, it's my reflection. It's a big mirror, isn't it? Yep. Would you believe it if I told you that this mirror is a link to another world? Mm, nah, it can't be. Ah, you have no imagination. You are I, right? I've heard so much about you. It's nice to meet you. I'm Fru. Fru? Fru. From this day forward, we'll be living in the same building together. Not a name seem to be like, uh, German, by the way. Spiegel. I assume Spiegel is German. I'll talk more about the details later. First, let me show you to your room. Alright. Uh, actually, I left the room key with them. Tuma and I are the only kids currently living here. And Tuma should still have your room key on them. They're probably in the greenhouse right now. It's up those stairs to the right, come on! And I posted notes all over the wall so you won't get lost. So don't sweat it! Alright. Notes. Time to explore. Well, not this way. What about this way? Nope. Not that way either. Can I just leave? It's raining outside. No leaving, no umbrella. This is a big mirror. Alright. Any other buttons, by the way? Because I'm always so used to Z and X. Z, X, arrow keys. I don't know if there's any other buttons. There's always in these type of games, it's just that. Uh, I's room. This is our room. You can't get in because you don't have the key. Doesn't open. I guess these are the no notes that she left us. Uh, the doorknob is not attached. That room hasn't been used for a long time, so I can only imagine condition it's in. It just goes back down. Explore over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Tuma. I've told you already that those flowers are not food. Who? Oh. This is the new girl that came in yesterday. I told you about her yesterday. Her name is I. She'll be living in the same building as us. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. You're a school. Moo. Moo? Uh, Tuma, could you give me the key to I's room? Uh, eh, don't tell me you didn't lose it somewhere. It's gone somewhere. Oh, come on. Where was the last place you saw it? In the room with lots of paintings. So it's downstairs. Oh, well, it, it is what it is. Let's go find it. I'm sorry about all this, I... I know you just came in, but could you come and help us look for it together? We can talk more later after you go looking for it. Does Tuma join the party as well? Bright red roses are blooming. Anything else? This is, I guess, the flower room? Don't pick flowers without permission! What's this? It looked like blood, to be honest, because I'm just expecting blood. But I guess it's just a drawing. Fru. I know I pronounce it fru, fro, 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 right? Fro, fro, fru, fro, fray, freyu. Hmm. Well, it's just fru and tuma. I'm gonna, st I should stick with one pronunciation, even if it's wrong. <laughs> I'll, I'll say fru. Fru? Fru? Like fruit, I feel like, but, uh, uh I want to know what's over here, though. What's over here? About making decisions. You can make entirely different decisions than the choice presented to you by pressing the cancel key. Oh. However, there are some decisions in the game that you cannot cancel out of. Huh? Did I write this? Oh well. <laughs> you know, I just have this intuitive sense to write down RPG game mechanics in in the hallway. Through. You go in? This is a room. Hmm. It's a record being played. It's labeled Dendrite. Very mysterious music. Anything else? Yeah, nothing else can interact with? I guess not yet. I mean, this is all the prologue, I feel like. Nothing like, uh, you know, supernatural has happened yet, but I imagine it will soon. Tuma. There's something scribbled on the edge of the notebook. Fence password, clover to be heard for sided love. Let me just write that down real quick. I click out the game, though. If I do that, the music stops playing, but... That's fine. You know, you, I got, I gotta write this down. I've heard this game is a puzzle game, and it's hard. So, <laughs> guess we'll see. A number of locks is attached to the fence. It's Kenichen. Kenichen. I used to think that rabbits were gentle creatures, huh? Hmm. Kenichen. Okay. Well, I guess that's a password for this, but there's no point in opening it right now. I guess. I guess. uh... I mean, that's just a real-life rabbit, actually. I thought it was a stuffed animal or something, but no, it's a, re it's a real rabbit. Okay. Mm hmm Guess that's it. Tuma. I guess that's just Tuma's room, actually, yeah. For, for their, like, pet, pet rabbit, I don't know. Uh, she can go in here. That's oh, locked. Can't find the key. It's so dark inside. Yeah. I don't see anything. Yeah, I think I tried that before. Alright. Those are their rooms. Uh, what about if I go over here? It's a tea room. There's a porcelain teapot and teacup. Good. Alright, guess that's it. Nothing else. Very fancy orphanage. Uh, in real life, most orphanages are not this fancy. So, generally speaking, in fiction, whenever you end up in a fancy orphanage, or like, you know, the main character ends up in the fancy orphanage, something bad's gonna happen or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, anyway. Hmm. So it's downstairs somewhere. Okay, well, it opens up over here now. Recollect? Alright, you can save. Wow. Amazing. Let's see. Gallery? It's a gallery. Oh, you mean this room here with the paintings? Yeah. Alright then, let's split up and find it. Let's split up, gang. Alright. I actually want to explore a little bit more, but oh well. I don't see it here. Where could it be? Poop. Poop? <laughs> no, not poop. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's the correct pronunciation. Uh, I guess maybe pup? Pape? Pup? I don't know if the E is silent. But pup carried it off with him. Come on, quit talking nonsense and pay attention to the task at hand. Let's keep looking. Ah. 
Come over here. Tuma, did you say something just now? Hmm? I'm sorry, I must have been imagining things. Alright. Nothingness. Nothingness? Nothing. It just like just don't just uh, just draw a picture of just you know nothing on it and just call it a painting and you'll sell it for a million dollars. Uh, make an offering though. That one says make an offering. I don't know about that one. Mm. I wonder if that's important. One, two, three, four. Like the fourth one, you gotta like pay attention about. Uh, I don't know. Mm. I can write that. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> it's like uh, nothingness. Uh, the fourth painting is offering. I don't know if this matters, but I'm gonna write it down. What's this? It's like a weird thing. Animal? Lizard? That's just someone's portrait, I guess, looking to the side. What you will lose and what you forget will find itself on the other side. Hmm. Is that so? Well, the red chalk is... Tuma, this isn't time to be talking about your picture books. We have to find that key. Okay, Tuma seems to know more than us. Um, the girl's left hand is painted black. Write that down. Girl's left hand. Now we can save. What's wrong? Do you want to ask something? Mm, what kind of key? Well, the handle's shaped like a rose. I've never seen a key like it before, so I thought it'd be easy to find. What is this building? Well, it used to be an old mansion before it became an orphanage. This is the annex. The main building is where the director is at. We recently moved here because the main building was getting too crowded. Oh, okay. That's why there's not a lot of people. We get the fancy place. Everyone else lives in squalor. I assume. Who's Tuma? Tuma is Tuma. That's all you really need to know. There's never a dull moment with them around. Hmm, where's that? The mirror. Hmm, the mirror. The mirror, you say. So can you read that? No, I can't really read that. Well, we don't really know where the key is here, I assume. Can we just leave? I guess we're splitting up and everything. Alright. Kind of explore some more, though. Here's the library. Oh, the door is stuck, though. I'm over here. How to play? No. Movement. Up and down. And, uh, space and enter. Cancels that. We can also return to title screen. F12. That's locked. Dining room. I assume it's... Oh, no, it's not locked. It's the dining room. And there's the maid. Hi. The building was in use until very recently, so naturally a lot of dust has accumulated here. Hmm, let's see. Contains various cooking recipes. Okay, I thought it was a safe point actually. A clock is pointing at one o'clock. Hmm, I wonder if that's important. I don't know. I'm just paranoid now because I just assume everything is a puzzle hint or something. I'm gonna put one one o'clock in my notes. I'm literally taking notes. This is like me preparing for the exam. You know, the Spiegel Eye exam. I guess that's it. Nothing else. And Tuma said something, uh, you know, they mentioned something about the mirror. Uh, well, it's a very bloody mirror, it seems. Why is it leading over there? Interesting. Uh, can't go there. Uh, mm, can I leave? Nope, can't leave. All right. <laughs> it's just assaulting me with visuals. All right, well... Hey, what's up? And now I'm over here. Amazing. Do my drawings change? Uh, seems about, about the same. Hmm. Where are these? I can't read it because it's written in mirror writing. Okay. Well, once upon a time, there was a lost girl. The lost girl didn't have any idea where she could be. Hmm. Red pill or blue pill? <laughs> I guess I don't know. Can I go back? I can. But... Okay, so we're not really stuck here, but we can explore the mirror world, I assume. Okay, interesting. That just leaves over here again. Uh, can I, well, can I leave? 
No, can't leave. There's no exit that way. From over here. Everything looks a little different. Even though it's unlocked, the door doesn't open for some reason. Hmm, interesting. Maybe when it's locked in the other world, then it will unlock here, I guess, or something? Like, it's the, it's the opposite, right? Yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. Can I go over here? Oh, okay, it's blocked off that way. What if I go this way? Oh, interesting. This shadow. A little dull. Uh, this should be... Well, this should be the flower room in the other world. But I assume it's flipped, so that's tea room. So I assume the, over here will be the flower room. And everything is always is flipped, right? Mirror. Yeah, I remember the mirror. I guess. Oh, what's this? A key can be seen inside the thorny cage. I can't seem to reach it because the thorns are in the way. Hmm, interesting. Alright. Well, that's that. I go... Yeah, I can't go that way. Let's go back down. Explore the first floor again. Uh, over here would be the painting area, right? Yeah. Which, well, I guess we'll see. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, 2801, but it's... Hmm, hold on. 2801, but it's the mirror world. So I gotta write that down too. <laughs> Alright. This thing. Good. Mm-hmm. And this, wow. The center of this painting is painted over with black paint. It looks like it hasn't dried yet. Huh. Uh, I don't know if that's important. Is this? Reconnect? Oh, okay. It's a save point, actually. All right. Painting over yellow rose. Orange. Indigo. Darkness. <laughs> Just nothing. And blue. Hmm. I wonder if that's important. So wait, let me just write that down. Blue, darkness, it's just no music, uh, indigo, orange. I feel like I, I'm kind of like ruining the momentum, but I have to write this down. It's like, I feel like it's important. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just random. It's just, it doesn't matter at all. It's all just aesthetics, and I'm just writing all this down for no reason. Who knows? I can go over here. Well, even though it's unlocked, the door doesn't open. Hmm. Interesting. Can't go this way either. Hmm. Weird. Uh, alright. Well, I mean, from here, I kind of feel like I explored everything from here. Tuma did mention something about a drawing, though. About the chalk drawing, I guess. I don't know. So from here, though, what should I do? Well, since I'm free... From... Yeah, okay. Now I can just go anywhere from here now. Let's see. Has anything changed, I wonder? Like the drawing over here might be a good hint. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. It's just through and Tuma. Come here. She's only flowers and there's the rabbit. Should I open the rabbit's cage? Or not cage, but fence, I guess. Oh, we don't have the key. That's what got the main objective is just getting into our room, really. I feel like. Go over here. Here's the number lock. Uh, but nothing we can do about it, I guess. Okay. I was I was thinking we could like open it. You know, it says literally a number lock, but I guess not. That's locked. It's a room with the creepy music. <laughs> I feel like, well, it's not too creepy, but it's just kind of, I don't know, out of place. We're stuck on something. Any more hints? Looks delicious. Hi, are you hungry too? Mmm, sure. Here, have this. I got a red rose. Keep this a secret from through, okay? Huh. Okay, so you got a red rose. Looks delicious. Hmm. What's wrong? You wanna ask something? Uh okay, same. Yeah. So we have a red rose. We have to make an offering there. Interesting. Okay. I mean it seems like 
what I understand so far is that we used to use the red rose and put it in the painting where we got to make an offering. We got we to put it back into the mirror world, maybe, is what I'm guessing. I'm not entirely sure. That hasn't changed. Uh, it's over here, I think. Let's save the game. I make so many saves. How many save slots are there? Or am I allowed to make? 20? Not enough, <laughs> but at least it's better than nothing. I guess you put it over here. Offer red rose? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Make an offering, right? The red rose flown into the painting. And something spat out. Or something was spat out. Pick up the rose key. Alright. It's a painting of red rose. I, I reconnected the red rose back into the, the painting, so that's good. Alright. So wondering about this though. Two ways. I assume, I assume it's a mirror world maybe, so it's like maybe one zero eight something or Well the two will look weird though if it's but maybe it's not a two? No, I don't know. Anyway. Alright, so we did that. We have the key, so I guess we're good to go. Just double checking that every time. Alright. First puzzle down, <laughs> you know? Very, which is very simple. Any new view? Make an offering. Okay, nothing changed in the real world, I guess. In reality. Let's make another save. <laughs> Just make it feel a million saves. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I guess I don't have to tell them. I can just use the rose key, uh, which is my room. Where's my room again? Not here. That's the library. Library. I think my room is, like, different from where they were. I like, guess over here, I think. Yeah. The key got stuck in the keyhole and won't come out. What? Oh, okay. Oh, it worked, though. All right. I just can't take it out. <laughs> it's not... Great, I guess. What if we need to lock our room for some reason? I don't know, like a demon come <laughs> tries to break in. Can't lock our room. Number lock is t attached to the closet. Uh, well, let's see. I'm guessing... Well, the only number I saw before was in the mirror world, and I assume it's the opposites, so... Ah, okay, never mind that. That's not it. <laughs> I'm just guessing. There's a note stuck in the crack of the drawer. Pin. Closet? Left-handed girl. Hmm. Hmm, interesting, alright. That's another hint, so pin is closet, left-handed girl, alright? Because we, we've seen that before, left-handed girl, we saw that before. I think in, in, the, in the real world, something about left-handed. And well, we could try again, let's see. Well, I can also just put in, like, exactly what it is. Okay, that, that's just, that's wrong though. So that's not it either. Hmm. One zero. Because I did this already, but let me just double check to make sure. If I put it the other way, kind of like the opposite way, that doesn't work either. So there's maybe some other thing, has some other like thing I need to do. Anyway, I should probably tell them I already got the key though. <laughs> you know, I should probably tell. My friends? Oh, well, they're gone. Okay. I guess, I mean, they just moved on. Anyway, the girl's left hand. I remember. Yeah, it's over here. So maybe you gotta check this one in particular in the mirror world. Is what I assume you're supposed to do. Hmm. I'll just save again. Let's see. Well, where are the other... Oh, hello. Ah, hi. Where have we been all this time? I've been meaning to tell you I found your room key earlier. The door's already unlocked and ready to go, so feel free to take a really good looking new room. Hmm. But I opened it. <laughs> Did you just find the key at the door or something, or...? Weird. This mansion is very old and finicky, so it feels like everything wants to fight you before it works. Open, you stupid door. Oh. Interesting. I, went, I wonder where Tuma went, then. Uh, the maid is still here, just, you know, just cooking some food. Just complaining about the dust. I mean, it is her job, so, you know, she's it's fair for her to complain. 
Because she has to clean everything. Uh, so it's some sort of linguistic affliction. Hmm. That's right. So the child mostly answers with a yes or a no due to it. <laughs> yes or no. Sounds like an RPG protagonist syndrome, you know? You can only say yes or no or something. Can't go in there, though. I wonder if that was, like, real voices, or... She's just imagining it. I don't know. Well, let's see. This is back to the gallery. We can go back to the mirror world, but... Let's explore a little bit more. Then we'll check everything. This doesn't open again. I'll find a doorknob, I guess. And, of course, the... The closet. I assume our main objective now is to open that closet, maybe. Just her room again. I always double check everything. I, w I wonder where uh, Tuma went. Hello, Tuma. Oh, here you go. It's Kenny Chen. Okay. <laughs> I assume that's the name of the rabbit. Kenny Chen? Or is it like. I don't know. I have, I have a feeling Tuma is somewhat related to the mirror world. So, like, maybe it's not Kenny Chen. It's like the opposite. It's like. Nan. In. Kenik? Or something. I don't know. Just like the op I don't know. That's probably not it. <laughs> like, re just reverse it or something. Maybe. It's the mirror world rabbit. But yeah, that's the fence password. If we want to open the fence. All right, well let's let's go back to the mirror world and see what's up with that. If there's anything's changed, otherwise double check the painting of the left-handed girl, I guess. Let's see if you can figure that out. Nothing new there either. I was hoping that book would change, you know, the more we progress, but maybe we haven't really progressed that much yet. All right. The left-handed girl. Yeah, because uh, she's writing with her right hand, you know? So the the idea is that, again, you flip it, but like, how's that? Hmm. I already tried 1082. Again, unless, unless the two... It's hard for me to imagine for some reason, but if I reverse the two, is it still a two, you know? Or is it a five? Oh, it could be a five, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's actually I, I'm reminded of the 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 game's name actually, Spiegel I. I I didn't know the E I. I thought the I was a one, so I thought it was like Spiegel Episode One or something, you know. So you know, it's a thing with fonts. I feel like mm, black paint. So that's what I'll try. I'll try next time. I'll try five eight zero one instead of two. Or or one eight or rather one zero eight five rather anyway, he's gonna flip it right. I mean that's the idea. It's a mirror world. It's a mirror theme here going on. Everything's reflected and all that. So let's try that actually. Oh, there's a room again. It's upstairs. Over here. All right, let's try again. So let's see. Again, it's, it's flipped. I think. So five. There you go. I did it. Wow. Second puzzle done. Amazing. I'm so smart. All right, going here. Wow, it's like a walk-in closet. That's fancy. A white dress covered with dust. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Is that it? Oh, okay. Is that? I think that's it. A white dress covered with dust. I don't know. If there's anything else to explore around here? No. I guess that's it. I don't know. Well, that opens that, and that's basically it. Unless there's anything else I need to do. Can I put on the clothes? No, doesn't look like it. I was thinking maybe over here, it looks like a, a safe or some sort, of, or a fancy door. Can't seem to really acti activate it, though. I guess that's it. Well, that's that, but we didn't get anything, right? Hmm. I wonder if, uh... Fru says anything new? Okay, well, she's still trying to open this. So maybe that's the next, the next objective, maybe open that too. We got a white dress. Well, we don't need to get the white dress, but there is a white dress, I guess. So maybe that's a hint for something else, too. White dress, white dress. I need to have, like, you know... I mean, I sometimes I complain about it. I feel like a lot of people complain about it, but a lot of modern games, you know, just say, Hey, here's the main objective. and It's just in your UI. It just shows you exactly where you need to go or something. 
and like they're hand holding you too much and everything and i don't like it either but times like these where it's like well i thought i did it but how do i progress that i'm missing something i don't know i mean i prefer like a mix of both right where it's like it's clear where you need to go but it's not just directly told to you through writing you know it's more about like environmental storytelling where you learn where to go by looking at the environment a classic way i learned actually from like valve i think is like when it, when a player is going through a level you like you, you put like a spotlight you know on the places where you want the player to be going towards right it catches their attention and that's like a subtle way to like tell them where to go and everything instead of telling instead of like a ui that's like hey go here you know like a big giant arrow but anyway here's like a new room hmm. do i need to do anything here uh let's see miss schlegel schlegel miss schlegel due to an accident lost her sense of taste hmm interesting and then no matter what miss Sch schlegel ate it always tasted like sand Mrs. Schlegel remembered the nostalgic taste of her favorite Mindstrom. Mindstrom? Minstrom? And until death, no matter what she ate, it always tasted the Minstrom. Hmm. Okay. Or is this this? What's this? A lifelike mannequin stands here. Alright. Whoa! I'm sorry. It's been a long time since someone came from outside. Who are you? Who am I? He's asking for your name. A name is something that you would like to be called. I think the weird bird thing. That there's like two heads to it. Is it saying that? Uh, name. My, my name is... Torso. You can call me Torso. <laughs> How funny. Because she's literally a torso. What's your name? I. I, huh? I'll remember that. Ah, that's right. I, can you read this book? Mm, sure. Ah, oh, but I can't, because it's written in mirror writing. I see, so you can't read it either. I want to be able to read this book, but there's no one here who can read the letters. I, please, take me along with you. Sure. Thank you very much. A little early for thanks. How do you plan walking around that leg? Oh, I've got an idea. Just strap me on your back like a backpack. Now, uh, now take good care of my leg. Be sure, or oh, oh, actually, the, the the weird like bird thing is saying that. No, no, take good care of my leg. Be sure to bring it back when you're done. I know. Now, if you go, I. All right. Okay. She just took the legs off that one of this thing. I don't care what it is, but if you can find something to take the place of my leg, I'd be grateful. Alright. So we have another party member. Hmm. Schlegel. Something about like losing her taste? That's interesting. I don't know if that's related to anything. It's just a metaphor. For something else, I don't know. Alright. Oi! If you're gonna cross something that could use that, that could be used in place of my leg, bring it to me. If you do that for me, then you can keep that leg. It's yours. Okay. All right, so that's okay. That's okay. Now that's our main objective: finding a leg for our mannequin friend torso. I guess. I wonder if she can like travel to our world. I don't know if that's how it works. Oh, interesting. Okay, now the areas have been opened up actually, so we can go over here. At, you know, hmm. maybe the opening the closet did that. I'm not sure. I wasn't clear. Right? I opened the closet, then nothing seemed to happen. And maybe that caused areas to open up. Here's a here's a freaking carnival. <laughs> whole freaking carnival and everything um i mean in the real world this would be tuma's room right so is there like a fence i need to open because i see that i see the the bunny rabbit i guess but there's no nothing seems to be able to like i don't know no cold or anything i can activate so i hmm. guess that's it for now i'm not sure uh, nothing here seems what over here flu's room okay Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm in a sparkling light pup. Hmm. Oh, that was mentioned by Tuma, I think. Because I'm pup. Um, can you read this book? Of course I can read it, because I'm pup. Really? Please, 
I want you to teach me how to read it. I can't teach anything for free. Even if it's not free, I can't teach an idiot. Idiot? If you eat a wisdom mouse, you'll get smarter. Idiocy gets healed. Wisdom mouse? Wisdom mouse are edible. You can eat them at the diner. The key to the diner is inside the rows of thorns. Hmm. I did see a, yeah, I did see a key that's inside, like, some, a cage of thorns and all that. Hmm. And while you're out there getting that key, there'll be candy there as well. Bring one to me. You'll see a lot of white drop candies sprouting out from the ground. You'll understand what I mean soon. Alright. I guess I will, somehow. I don't know. Okay. So that's... We have a lead there. We have to go to the diner. So we have to figure out where the diner is in the, in the real world and just go the opposite of that, I guess. Uh, how do you do? Oh, okay. We can yeah, talk to this person now. Hello. Um, could you teach me how to read this? I'm afraid I cannot. You are unable to see where my eyes are at. If you cannot even see me, how can you? How can I offer any assistance with reading that book for you? My sincerest apologies. I would love to see you again. All right. Shadow person. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I wish you could run. By the way, there's a lot of walking back and forth. I feel like. Uh, but yeah, okay, we gotta get this key. But how? Hmm. I wonder if that's the key. I'll get it. Oh, you, you can just walk in. Amazing. I almost got it. Give me a moment. Hmm? Feels like it's caught in something. I got it. Here you are. Hmm. Doesn't it hurt? Hurt? Is that like, you know, gigahertz or something? No. It didn't hurt. This is yours. I got a diner key. Alright. I mean, she's made out of wood, I assume. So she doesn't feel any pain. Is what I assume that is. Uh, I gotta get some candy as well. I assume maybe, well, we have to go... Maybe the, into the diner and... Well, I can't remember actually. What, the diner would be like... Well, let's explore. Because I forget what a diner is exactly. In the mirror world, we don't have notes. You know, to read from through or whatever. So I kind of forget where everything is. Uh, actually, let me save. I don't know if we need to go with the real world diner or the mirror world diner, right? Let's see. Over here would be... Okay, now we can go over here. Oh yeah, that, okay, well that was the diner because you see a fork and knife. What's over here? Nothing? Hmm. There's a window and doorknob on the wall. It's too dark to see anything through the window though. It looks like there's some, someone inside, but it's too dark. I can't see anything. Hmm. Okay. Before I go... No, oh, what's this? Nothing? Okay, just a symbol. Can't go there. And nothing over here. Alright, well, let's go to the, to the dining room. Wee. There's the maid, by the way. Are you just in the mirror world randomly as well? Is it just a normal thing for you? Uh. Okay, yeah, I want to save. This is random. Save points in the mirror world don't make any sense. Not very consistent. Um. Oh, can I help you with something? Do you know what a wisdom mouse, mice mouse is? Yes, of course I know what they are. <laughs> okay. May we have one? Unfortunately, I've run out of them. I see. But you couldn't have arrived at a better moment. Would you two like to run an errand for me? An errand? Mr. Angel, who resides just past me, had promised earlier to give me some of his wisdom mice. So why don't you see both of you go fetch them in my place? Then I can spare one of them for you. Or so, I don't know. I don't know what kind of accent I'm trying to do. Uh, we'll do it. I'm counting on you. Good. Ah uh, yes, it's best to avoid contact with any of the other tenants aside from Mr. Angel, especially since they've nothing but a pack of liars, those devils, and that human. Cuck -cuck -cuck -cuck. All right. Can I say? Oh, there's a book. Uh, rodents with illustrious, Ill illustrious fur, like squirrels would be tanned into glass shoes. Um, okay. Knowledgeable rodents, like a wisdom mice, are beaten and crushed into minstrels. Alright. 
good. Useless and dirty rollers are rushed straight to the disposal factory. Uh, okay. These rats, they don't live a good life, I feel like. Uh, something red is simmering. Hmm. Okay. Now it's all weird looking, good. Uh, what business do you have of my tenants here? Yes, we would like to speak with uh, Mr. Angel. Sure thing, you find him upstairs. Since you're gonna see him, could you relay a message for me? Tell him every day the schedule rotates among the tenants, so you're the one on duty today. Don't slack off. I would appreciate it. Also, a word of advice. Besides the angel, the rest of my tenants are some devils and a human. And they all love to tell lies. The human upstairs in particular is troublesome. He'll be honest with you, then lie to you in the same breath. I'd much rather take my chances with the devils. At least I know they're only capable of lying. Hmm, interesting. There's a mirror writing, can't read it. I wonder what it says. Oh, you get a mirror. You know, can you just get like a small hand mirror? I assume mirror writing means it's like flipped, right? So you just get a small hand mirror and just use it to read. Uh, Alright, over here now. Oh, who's there? Uh, is this Mr. Angel? Oh, that's right, please come on in. Hmm. Oh my, you don't want to come inside? I'll tell you what. Tenants who live on both ends of the top floor are liars. I would stay away from them if I were you. Okay, this is like that, you know, the troll bridge or whatever, or the gargoyles, you know, this one lies and this one tells the truth and this one sometimes lies or tells the truth. Uh, okay, what did you say again? Uh, I gotta make sure not to accidentally enter. Okay, I'll tell you what. The tenants who live on both ends of the top floor are liars, okay? So if you're lying, that means, I don't know. Depends on any demon. Well, there's multiple demons. Well, let's see. What about this one? Hey, who's there? Mr. Angel? That's me. All right. What's your problem? Oh, yeah. Well, the guy on duty today is in the next room. Or was it the middle upper floor? Hmm. Next room, middle upper floor. All right. Let's see, top floor. Okay, top floor. Okay, it's only two floors, really. It seems. What's over here? It's just fireworks, I guess. So the top floor. All right. So the one at the bottom said that these two ends are liars, right? And this one says the next one is on duty, which means, well, the next one on duty, which means that'll be Mr. Angel, technically. I think that's what they said. Or it's on the middle floor, which means they're saying like both that and that are Mr. Angel. Well, let's see. What about this one? Mm, yes. This is Mr. Angel. That's right. I am the angel. Come on in. Why do you want to enter? Just so you know, the tenant in the next room of her is a liar. You shouldn't talk to them. All right. Who? Oh. Yes, it is. Come in. Do you know enter? Fine. Lower floor tenant on duty today. Okay. Uh, this is uh, kind of hard to parse. Uh, who might you be, Mr. Angel? Oh, yes, of course. Please feel free to let yourselves in. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, by the way, who was on duty today? I'm pretty sure it's not me. Hmm. I mean, that seems the most suspicious because I feel like Mr. Angel would be the one that would actually forget about the, the schedule. Uh, it's not me. I don't know. I gotta figure... Well, let's see what happens if we get a game over. I don't know. I'm thinking it's this one, but I really I would have to think about it. But I'm just gonna take a guess now. And they also seem to be the nicest. Wait, before we do, earlier that the manager told us that most of them might be lying to us. Are you sure we should go inside? Ah, yeah, sure. Why not? And then we die. Okay. You've done me a great service. I was certain there would be adequate sacrifices. Thanks for your efforts, this should be just enough to please them. And we died. Game over, alright. <laughs> Whoops. That's not the right one. Try again. <laughs> alright. <laughs> Was that the human? It looks like, well, I don't know if they're demon or human, but they're definitely doing some s sacrificial rituals. Alright. It's not me. That's a shame. By the way, there was something to do today? No, not me. 
I mean, so telling the truth, though. I mean, we're kind of like, you know, sort of cheating, but that means they're telling the truth. That I mean, that that must mean they're human. Like, they're telling the truth, but in the, they're still lying, I guess. Both ends are liars. I mean, you can also kind of brute force this, I guess. You just try every room until you get the right one, but... That kind of contradicts, though, because the right upper, even though it's a game over, they are technically telling the truth. So they're not just... Well, hold on. Let me double check their, their like, statement. I gotta double check their statement like like a detective. Because they're, they're only half lying, right? So do you consider that a liar or, or telling the truth? Not sure. Uh, yes, of course. So they lied about that. But they don't lie about being on duty. So, I mean, that, then that means right lower is telling the truth. I think. Because this one's... Well, let me double check this one. Is this a liar? You want to enter? Just so you know, tenant in the next room over is a liar. Don't talk to them. So they're saying this one's a liar. And middle upper is saying the lower floor tenant is on duty today. If they're lying... Well, let's see. I have to like consider like the you know the whole gargoyle thing you know if there's only one possible answer which means like if you consider the possibility that for example this person is telling the truth that would mean two people are telling the truth right because if the middle upper is saying is the truth then one of the people at the bottom are also telling the truth i guess which makes no sense because there's only one person telling the truth everyone else is lying except the human i guess which I assume is on right. Um, that's an assumption though. I'm not entirely sure. If you consider that one like a demon or a human. I think they're a human because they're technically telling the truth but also lying. But uh, but yeah. So this can't be telling the truth because if this person, if the middle upper, <laughs> it's like very, it's very complicated. But the middle upper floor, the, the middle room of the upper floor, if they're telling the truth, that means someone else is telling the truth and that's impossible, right? You can't do that, I think. Well, because I, I think, isn't it, uh, because it's the Mr. Angel's, like, duty today, right? That's what the reception told us, anyway. So, again, yeah. So it can't be this one, I assume. If it can't be that one, then left upper, then left upper will be telling the truth, right? Any contradictions there. Left upper saying the next story is a liar, and, you know, we can confirm that. That means left upper is telling the truth. Now, is there any contradictions? Right lower says that both both ends are liars, which, you know, if they're lying, that, that confirms it. That's fine. Uh, left lower, do they middle upper or next room? That, that confirms that they're lying too, so it can't be middle or, or the one at the bottom. Uh, who's on duty today? Not me. Who's right upper? Next door is liar. Left upper. So I think it's this one, actually. That's This is the only one where there's no contradiction, I feel like. But I could be wrong. Let's try, you know, second attempt. That's right. I'm the angel. <laughs> no, that sounds like not like an angel. That sounds like a demon. Alright, let's try it. I mean, I don't want to spend too long just thinking about it. I'll just try again. And if this is wrong, I'll think about it again. Okay, here, I, I assume that's the angel. Hello, we're on an errand to get some wisdom mice. Yes, certainly. I did promise that. Since promises are important and must be kept. Alright, here you go. Make sure they reach you safe and sound, okay? Uh, where's the mice? Hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm getting more and more luggage. I guess it's time for me to move out. Alright, I guess I just talk like that. Good. I wonder what the, all the other tents look like. I don't know. I guess we can't... I mean, unless I want to reload and everything. But I don't want to. That's okay. They're probably like... They were slightly different sprites, I guess. You know, slightly different like RPG Maker sprites or something. And they just murder you, whatever. If you get it wrong. Probably nothing too important. Alright. Now well, we got the mice. Can I look at the mice? Get the key and some mice. Very, very smart mice. Apparently they're edible. Yeah, they get turned to like 
soup, I think. What's a minstrel? I actually don't know what minstrel is. I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but I assume it's some kind of soup. Well, we brought the wisdom mice. Thank you. I can make minstrel of this. You, you promised that you share one of us. Oh, did I ever say that? Liar. Don't show me that scary face. Here, you are promised to boil food. Hmm. Okay, good. Because we were, like, dealing with liars the whole time. I wonder if she was a demon, too. I guess not. This is my first time eating a soup. Actually, it's my first time eating anything. I, I don't need to eat. I'm immortal. Delicious. I can't be certain, but I get this feeling that this is what delicious is. Yes, most definitely. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It kind of reminds me of, uh, yeah, the story that we found in her room, actually, about... The, the the lady who can't taste anything, I guess. Hi, you're not going to try a taste? Mmm, sure. Nom. There's something in the soup. Oh. What is that? This is a key with a bird pattern. Let's make sure to hold on to it since we went through all this trouble. I got the bird key. Free bird key. Did you know that when you finish eating, you say "itadakimas" because you know this is a jap this is like developed from a Japanese developer or something, or whatever. Even though technically, I feel like this takes place in Germany for something. I don't know. Thanks for the meal. Shall we get going? Though I don't know. I don't know if uh, other. I actually have no, have no idea if other cultures do a thing where they say you know thanks for the meal. I feel like that's a very Japanese thing to do. I don't know if it's exclusive to you know Japan, but obviously I watch so much anime. It's the only thing that really stands out to me. You, know, you say itadakimasu or whatever after you finish the meal. Or well, actually, you don't say well, you say itadakimasu when you start the meal, right? You say gochucho sama after you finish, right? Am I getting that right? Uh, anyway, I think I mixed it up. Gochi was it gochucho gochucho sama? Or something anyway whatever uh let's see well we got a bird key we got uh i think a wisdom mice though hmm. doesn't there like you're supposed to get something for the uh pup or whatever right as well was it delicious I guess it was. We also supposed to guess like a leg, you know, for like the dude, the bird thing, bird mannequin, as well. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not sure if I missed anything. But we did get a bird key. I wonder where the bird key goes to. Hmm. Well, let's walk around. After doing that, like, complicated demon-angel-human puzzle. I guess this is the bird room. And there's Tuma, by the way. He's just there. Or, they're just there, rather. <coughs> Meow. Okay. I don't know why I say he, by the way. I think... I mean... They're more feminine, feminine than masculine, so I assume... I don't know, I should know how the translation is. Is it what in translation? Did they have a gender neutral pronoun in uh, in the original game? I'm not sure actually. Because that's usually not a thing actually, you know, in Japan. Um so I'm surprised, actually. But I'm not sure if the translator is taking some uh artistic creativity or whatever. What do you call it? Create uh, artistic artistic um freedom? I always forget the word. You know, like you know, they're interpreting it in a different way than the original trans uh, original language anyway but whatever hi do you know how to read um i'm torso this is i Tuma. um would you please teach me how to read since i can't read this book um, or is that too much to ask? It's okay. Really? If you could please wait until I finish reading here. Thank you. Thank you for helping me so far. 
Let's do something together again sometime. Okay. It was a lot of fun to see you, uh, to see so many things of you, I. Thank you. Alright. Okay. Can't read it. I guess can't read any of the books, though. They're all in mirror writing. Hmm. And we're waiting for Tuma, or Mirror Tuma, to finish reading? I don't know. Oh, I see some blood, by the way. That's not great. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, oh, another one is going all right. Any change here? No. Hmm. Can I explore some more, though, before I go back to the real world? Yeah, I want to find this, this person's a leg. Can't go in there. What about Pup? See a lot of the ground. You understand what I mean soon. Okay, well, it's not. It, I thought it was in the in the same dining room, but I guess pup just means like just in general. You'll see white candy drops. I thought I thought it was like specifically in the kitchen or something, but no. Okay, I, I guess just just in general. If you see like those white candy drops, that I guess we'll see eventually, then just give it to pup is the idea. Well, let's go back, I guess, and. I don't know. Just faint. <laughs> oh, okay. We're not here. Bunch of uh, water lilies, I think. Is what you call it? I don't know. Hmm. It's a boat. Going here, no? Where if I go through the golden arches? I don't mean, you know, McDonald's. Hello, hello, nice to meet you guys. To follow the way down to a place like this, are you guys lost? If you guys keep wandering around aimlessly, you guys won't know right from left anymore. I'll give this to you guys. It's a gift from me. Red is the color of guidance. Your only ally without boundaries. Chase after me, if you want to know of before. Hmm. Just, just a Come right here. I want you to acknowledge the fact that I'm here. <laughs> 